Well, it is just another absolutely spectacular day here out on the floating dock next to the pretty Miss Sheila houseboat here on Elm Hill Marina. And man, I'll tell you what, these blueberries are just kicking tail here. I mean, they got clusters of them all over and over on this one. Man, look at all the bunches and bunches of blueberries that are coming out on this bush. They're doing pretty good in these little root bags or root pots they're called and uh, I thinned my cucumbers down to about three plants I hated to cut the other little three or four out of there but I did and my peas are going crazy look at my squash wow it's like three feet high my peppers are more solid plants than they've ever been before I could not be happier all the onion sets that I put in they're all standing up now and looking good Man, I'll tell you, these radishes are going bananas. And uh, I've got tomatoes hanging on every single one of these plants. Again, the squash over here, more peas over here. The peas are jumping up real good. But my uh, cucumbers are doing great. My peppers are doing great. And here's a problem that I did run into. I've got a float back here. But it kept plugging up, and I think it was picking too much trash up off the bottom of my of my uh, minnow tank over here that I have. You move some of my car keys and stuff. And I think some of the stuff down in there is a silt or whatever. It was picking it up and plugging up that deal. So what I did is I went back to my my uh, siphoning system and I happened to have <coughs> before I started pumping water in here I used to have a little air compressor down here that did the brrr and put air bubbles in here for all my minnows. And I just robbed the line off of that air compressor, which is really tiny. And down here, look at this. It puts out the perfect little stream of water. I mean, perfect. I put a couple screws there in that 2x4 just to angle it so it would go right in the corner of the trough. And it just, you know, and if it gets hot enough this summer that I can't keep up with it, I'll just add one more little line. But right now, it's keeping it full right to the brim. Hardly any water is running over, so that just seems to be the perfect balance. And uh, I just siphoned back over with one of those little air lines that you use, that you get at the aquarium place. And uh, got some nice looking blackberries over here. I had a real dandy right here, and either the birds got it or somebody went by and capicted it. So, and there's some more of them over here already changing. But these, uh, these raspberries are going, going just nuts. I mean, they are really, really growing up. Clear up, they were down here. We were in mom covering this sign. It's a, they're already almost three feet high. So they've done good. Now, I'm kind of doing some studying on how to prune grapes. I'm a complete idiot when it comes to grapes. I know nothing about nothing. I know you're supposed to cut them off and keep the main trunk and only two buds that come off that and you're supposed to prune it in the spring. I think I'm going to leave the plants grow this year um, the way they are and then next year I'll prune them back in the in the spring and do what you're supposed to do I guess cut them off so. But other than that this garden is looking great. Mama Strawberry she picks at least two or three or four every single day that are nice and red. There's one kind of hiding up there changing real good. My uh, carrots are uh, coming up in my big pot here. But you see these four onions. I had one round uh, sweet Vidalia onion that I left in my pantry and these roots or these sprouts were growing up out of it so I peeled the onion, chopped the onion apart and broke it open and there was little teeny pods and I broke them apart in sections and planted them. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just want to see if each one of those will grow into a sweet Vidalia onion itself. So we'll see what we will see. My rhubarb's looking good. It's, it's doing fabulous, but it's growing slow. It's growing too slow because I want a nice big stalk that I can snap off and dig in a sugar bowl. And all these guys over here, wow! Look at all the blueberries on these little bushes that I bought. This is all brand new growth here. All this stuff is new growth and tons and tons of blueberries on there. So, well, this is Steve Hall down in Nashville, Tennessee, sending this out to my brother Larry Hall in uh, Brainerd, Minnesota, who came up with this rain gutter grow system 
thing and as long as you get any kind of water in there at all you water them all at the same time that's the main thing float or no float siphon or no siphon fill it up with a hose it don't matter that's the main thing is is I only have to do one location at one time I am a little disappointed in my asparagus it has not come up yet and I planted it like I was supposed to them sprouts or those roots are laying underneath there just about an inch and a half or so and uh, I, I don't know whether to water it too much or not enough or leave it alone or maybe it'll pop up in about a week we'll see anyway there we go that's my big garden update for my broski up there in Brainerd